I've been wanting to play this game for like years now. I'm so happy that this got a remake because I was actually going to get the um the Wii version and play that one. What the heck is this? Am I selling my soul to Bandai? Oh my god, why is there so much? Oh, there's more! Oh my god. What? No. Anyway. You! Let's just jump right into the first one. I, I didn't know what to put the stream title as, so I just put Clonoa. There's no... There's no option for Clonoa, like, Phantom Ravry series. Woohoo! There's no babies here. Go in normal mode. You know, I, I really didn't want to say anything during the cutscene, but the thing in the bottom right is kind of ruining it for me. It's sticking out like a sore thumb. Pom-pom hat for sleeping. That's cute. She should be dead. <laughs> that was a catastrophic crash. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute. Yeah. We jump right into it. Oh, there's a two-player mode. I didn't even know that. I, I feel like, um... I feel like the, like, two-player mode is gonna be, like, something that speedrunners, um, use. Kind of like the two-player mode in Super Mario Odyssey.
<laughs> yeah. Oh, can we go down these paths? Whoa, we actually have 3D movement, even though we're in a 2D plane. You can throw stuff towards the camera and stuff. That's so cool. I feel like it's going to be used a bunch later. Can we jump on things normally? Oh, nope. This ain't Mario. These enemies are so cute. I feel so bad for for killing them. Really. Like, look at them. <laughs> look at their face. They're like almost Jigglypuffs, I guess. Whee! <laughs> oh, there's like other Clonoas. Well, I guess other cats, since Clono is a cat. I don't know, um, what exactly, um, like, is going on with the story. I think, I think the story in this game is, like, Kirby-esque, if you know what I'm saying, like, um, it's not it's, it's not like um super duper integral to the game cuz like in the end it's it's more like um you know you're you're still supposed to be like uh just kind of running around and jumping and having a good time but like for those who who like pay attention there's like a bunch of lore and it goes super deep and stuff Whoa. I'm really glad that he has the Yoshi flutter jump too. Whee! Oh my god, I love this thing's face. Not gonna lie though, it, it feels a little bit strange that um, the the enemies like inflate when you grab them. It's like Dig Dug. I feel like, um, I should be voicing over these cutscenes, but they kind of have a voice themselves, so I'm like, you know what, it's, um, it's good enough, you know? Wahoo! I love when he does that. Oh, they're so cute. I guess the moon is gonna have a really big role to play in this. Oh, 
Oh, I'm glad I can go back. I was like, oh no. Did I just skip like a bunch of secrets and stuff? Cause there's like a couple of ladders here. Oh, I guess you can't climb them. I was thinking that there might've been like secret like passages or stuff above those. You could get a bunch of gems, but I guess not. Marcus, how's it going? I can I can already feel like just from this interaction right here, it's it's like there's gonna be some really tough platforming challenges later. Cause like you can grab the enemy, do a double jump off of them. Right? Let's see. Oh, grab him! Grab him! And then grab another one and do another double jump off of him. I'm sorry, Hollow. But I want to move forward. I'm having fun. I can't decide whether I should voice the cutscenes, though, because they, they kind of have, like, little gibberish voices, right? And, like, I, I kind of, like voiceover when it's kind of quiet and there's like not much to Whoa. and then there's not much to um, to fill the void I guess oh my god am I all the way back at the beginning oh no well here's your here's your wish hollow Hello. That's that's cool with me. And also, I I love hearing um the little gibberish speech that they have. It's so cute. I love Klonoa already. Oh, I never actually grabbed any of the um of of the clocks. I thought just touching them would have um, grabbed them automatically for me. Whoops! How you guys doing? <laughs> I should, um... I should just go like... <laughs> when, whenever there's a cutscene, it's gonna be like, super serious, like, the world is dying. And then I'm just gonna be like. <laughs> yes, this is my start of my uh, my Animal Crossing voiceover career. And specifically, only for Animal Crossing, though. Well, I guess if you need an old man too. Or could combine the two. Old man Animal Crossing. <laughs> wow, that's some Marcus slander. You gotta tell me about your your story though. Your official Marcus News TM.
You. Well, maybe there's something up. Nope, guess not. That's quite a day. Hopefully they get back to you. Oh look, we're in a storybook. Oh look at the little guys. Oh, that's cute. You need to send me pictures later. Hopefully I got all the guys. Yay! So I guess if the the horn thing is completed, that means I got them all. Oh, I only got 142 out of 150 gems. I need to get them all next time. I don't think that's how it works. I don't know, maybe for Halloween I'll, I'll dress up as a mas uh, a platformer mascot. I did buy a DK tie. So I have that. So if I try hard, I might be able to complete that. I, f I feel like um, I'm going to be the odd one out in that situation. What if I, what if I go to your, um, your costume party, and I'm DK as a cat maid. So I'm Donkey Kong, but also a maid, but also a cat. How's that? Yeah, Donkey Cat. Take that. This is officially a cat stream because Klonoa is a cat. Um, we're all apparently cat maids. And I need to show you the, the little baby cats that came into work not too long ago. So last Saturday, last weekend, I should say, I was a little bit disappointed because there was just no cats anywhere. They were all gone. They like they were all adopted, which is which is a good thing, right? But like one of the main things I like about going to work is that I get to see all the cute kitties. But this like today, there was like an avalanche of kitties. Let me show you. I took video.
Isn't that amazing? They're so cute. Mario Land 2. Oh, I thought I did something wrong. Um, Mario Land 2. That's like top tier Game Boy game. It's so good. Woohoo! Minecart level! Oh my god! It's Donkey Kong! This is the best game! Woo! Um, it might not be Marcus. It's, um, it's out of town, if that helps. Yeah, it's, um, it's near where I go to school. That's, that's a pretty good hint, then. That you can work off of. Oh. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. It's 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 over there. Um. Yeah. Drop in and say hi. Actually, um, the store that I actually applied for was, like, really close, right? It, w it was the one that you're probably thinking of. But for some reason, they decided to, like, send me down there, right? Like, n no warning whatsoever, no reasoning. But hey, it's, 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 you know, it's better than nothing, right? So, oh no! But, uh, yeah, so I took it, right? I am dying. I am dying. Wah! <laughs> I just want to go back and see if I missed anything, because it looks like the way I was going, whoa, the way I, I was going is like the the way forward, right? Um, and I don't want to miss any of the collectibles. Like this right here, this looks like a little secret place. Oh, well this also has a, a little thing, right? Oh, look at them. They're so cute. Why do I have to kill them? Can I have one? Take that. I feel like there's gonna be like a secret up there that I need to use the big boy to reach. Hey, get over here. Yeah. Have any of you guys um played uh, Clono at all? Or not. Oh, 
I guess there's nothing up there. Alright then. Oh well. Oh, I think I missed some of those, um... Those, like, little horn guys. Whoops, I just made a big ol' circle. I forget, was the original Klonoa sprite based or or was it like 3D? Like fully 3D? Or like, did it use like sprites for the main characters and stuff is what I meant. Okay, yeah. These guys. Woo! I really, really love that, by the way. Hybrid animation. Where they have, like, 3D environments and, like, 2D sprites and stuff. Yeah, I, like, it's one of the, like, super cool things about, um, it's called Octopath Traveler, right? We also have, what is it, like, the Final Fantasy Pixel remakes, I, I believe, also have the same, like, kind of deal going on, and, uh, Project Triangle Strategy. There's something about, like, older stuff, though. Ooh. Something about, like, older stuff. Older, like, um, pixel 3D hybrids that I feel like the modern games kind of lack. You know? I don't know exactly what it is, but maybe it's just my nostalgia talking, you know? Oh, the Pixel Remaster doesn't? Oh. I thought it did. Since that's Square and they, um... They're the ones who have, like, the whole, like, 3D HD. Or 2D HD. I forget what it's called. The engine that they use for, for the Pixel stuff. <gasps> no! It's a good thing that the last checkpoint wasn't far off. You know, I... I really forgot that the pixel remasters were a thing until like a little while ago. Oh, look, it's Joker Persona 5. Check it out. I think he's a Chozo. He 
jerk. Thank you. I love that thing. <laughs> That's really rude. Clonoa's so was a cat, not a mouse. Just put some Tabasco sauce in your cereal, Paolo. I thought he was purely a cat. <laughs> you! I love these kind of bosses, the ring based ones, you know? Rango Lango! Take that. Oh, was he? Was he in, like, um, Marvel vs. Capcom or something? Oh, right. He's not part of, um, Capcom. He's Bandai Namco. The same people as Pac-Man. You should send that to me directly, um, Hollow, so I can check it out proper. Take that, Rongo Longo. Bingo Bongo. <laughs> Take that. Oh my god, Project's X Zone. I really want to play that, actually. Because, like, all the interactions between the characters look so fun. about to mention that actually like the <laughs> the voices are so like bit crushed there's like so compressed it's great oops sorry You wanna see it? After this cutscene, this is important.
They're so cute. You know one thing I don't like um about this so far? It's that it's making my switch run like on high basically. I can hear the fans and the the the, the like air coming out. <laughs> Why am I not surprised with something like that? Hello. Alright. Here we go. Hit the sunscreen. So we can all enjoy it. Hopefully it doesn't have any copyrighted music. It's a game intro, so... So it shouldn't. Anyway. Make it bigger like that. There we go. Quality isn't great. I think that's as high as it goes. Yo. Hey, look at this Arthur from Ghosts and Goblins. Well, there he is. There's Kodo. Of course, <laughs> of course, there's physics. This does go hard. They they made Klonoa like um I don't know, they made him super cool. Hey Carl. All this blood, oh my god. Check it out, Ryu. Chun Li. Girl who falls over. Well, I actually got that in my recommended, Marcus. Yeah, that was great. There's Kluno back there. You, Mega Man, Ryu, all that other stuff. Oh, I actually added a Let's Go. Um, so if you want to use that instead, you can. 
instead of what's it called? Swish Bridge. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> oh, he's like holding a thumbtack at me. I know absolutely nothing of Klonoa, but I, I think, like I was saying before, I think there's like a, a Kirby effect going on here, where um, the story is like, you can kind of ignore it and still have a good time, right? But if you pay attention, there's like deep lore and, and, and stuff, so it's worth paying attention to, you know? But other than that, I don't know anything about Klonoa other than, yeah, that, and also I'm enjoying the game. <laughs> so, there, there's the two things I know about Klonoa. Wahoo! I would be in shock if that were true. Get over here, monkey. Yo! Oh, these are different. These aren't, um... The Klonoa people that I was saving in the previous world. They're like forest people. Anyway, how you been, Carl? Oh no! Come here, thumbtack guy. Hey, that's good. I love that you voted for, um, for Ace Attorney in our next stream game poll thing, even though that wasn't an option. I knew exactly what you meant by, um, the judge emote. Yeah! Actually, I think I missed one little, one little gem. That's kind of disappointing. I wonder, I wonder if I missed anything. No, I, I think that's like a separate area that you can get to from going inside the tree. Is it like um the supposed like secret menu stuff in in like McDonald's where like they have like a secret like menu that they don't actually display but is always there? That's weird. Um, I probably wouldn't have bought in the the trilogy, honestly. I just have so many other games that I need to get to.
I'm also in no rush to to buy it. It's available on everything. It, it's like it's kind of like what we're saying the last time we were talking about this. It's like Doom. It's on everything. Next thing you know, it's gonna be like on a calculator and stuff. This is gonna be a tricky jump. Eee, almost died. Oh, almost. Oh no, I need another monkey. No! And I just fall off the ledge. Uh, it's your fault, Carl. I was reading your chat message. I hope he's immune to death planes, otherwise that's a, the last we're ever going to see of that dude. You know, it's kind of jarring, actually, um, hearing the uh, cutscene um, voice lines, because they're, like, so incredibly crusty, and then going to gameplay, and then hearing, like, super crisp, like, yahoo, you know? Well, we were talking about that earlier. We were saying how Klonoa is, like, a cat rabbit. Um, mixed with something else. <laughs> Cabbage, I don't think that's an animal. Cabbage is an animal, then what other vegetables are animals? Carrots? Tomatoes? Also, you mean to tell me I've been murdering sentient beings this whole time when I make my guacamole? This is not a good thought.
Oh, okay, that actually makes sense now. Whoa, the save. I just Yoshi'd that guy. I'm sorry. No, have you played Klonoa before, um, Carl? I'm not sure if Hollow has, because he was talking about um, how he wanted to, like, go back and enjoy it. Gotcha. Carl. Who knows, maybe this also will become one of my favorite platformers. Oh no! Well, I'm really glad that the eggs stay. Speaking of Kirby, Carl, did you play uh, Kirby in the Forgotten Land? I went back in 100% of that game a couple of days ago, and it was it was really tough. Like we were talking about earlier, how all the like super hard stuff is bonus material in Kirby games. Forgotten Land, and I actually started another playthrough um, with my sister, and we're playing two-player mode Forgotten Land, and we're also having a great time doing that. Honestly, I think Forgotten Land is going to be... it's going to be up there as one of my favorite Kirby games, even after all was said and done. Nope! Do you have any Kirby games that you're particular towards? For me, it's definitely Kirby 64. That's always going to be my number one Kirby game ever. this guy a dragon crab a human <laughs> yeah let's go Carl style. What? Why are you calling us kids? He looks like he's like three years old. That's a kind of unorthodox way to end a level, with a cutscene like that. 
but I dig it. Putting a little bit more emphasis on the story, huh? Of course he is. He's almost 10,000 years old, of course he is. No matter what you say, he's still not going to be able to ride the roller coaster. I don't know, Carl. Maybe it's because it's... It's comparatively not great at selling, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of like how um, Nintendo kind of thinks that... Ouch. Nintendo kind of thinks that um, Metroid is a failing series for them. Because it doesn't do, like, ultra numbers like, um, say, Mario or Zelda does. Do you know what the early statistics are, though, for for um, this game's sales numbers? Have they released any so far, or or not? Because you said that um, that it was selling well, so I'm assuming they did. That's one way to do it. Hey, that's awesome. Granted, Elden Ring has been out for a little while now, so I guess it's not doing like super ultra numbers like it used to, right? But still, that's, you know, it gives Clonoa some hope, you know? Does, did this feel like out of nowhere for you, by the way, as, is, as a remake? Like, was this something that you just were never expecting? Or was this hinted at? Oh no!
Okay. Nothing there, I guess. Oh no, I need oh, that guy to reach the ledge up there. I hope I can go back and reload the area. Oh, they have cute little idle animations. Oh. Okay, so it kind of was out of nowhere then. Man, imagine that. Imagine if they did the same thing for like other properties. I, th I definitely think they should. Like, um, the intro music that I played to open the stream was the title screen from Croc. And apparently there's been hints at a Croc remake. But I, I think now is the time, if, if they're gonna be doing it right. Because, like, I feel like platformers kind of died off for a while. But then we had stuff like, uh, the Crash remake. The Spiral remake. And now we have Klonoa remake. And also Pac-Man World 1 remake, which I also want to get to at some point. Because I've only played Pac-Man World 2. Um, so yeah, I think the time is now. It's good to know. I guess, um, once they had remade Klonoa 1, it just kind of made sense to remake Klonoa 2, because they had, like, the engine and stuff, right? I feel like this could have easily been, like, just Klonoa 1. And they put, could have pulled a Nintendo and still charged the same amount of money for it. I want that! <laughs> Give me the gems! Here's a guy. I can use this guy to get back to the area. Oh. Yeah! You! <laughs> No, I think I did this in somewhat of a wrong order. Uh oh, I'm I'm sniffing out a lot of replay value. Getting all the gems in the perfect order to get them all and stuff. It's good that they're they're capitalizing on what they have, you know. They're not letting it go to waste. This 
looks a little bit suspicious since there's just a big old empty spot right there. I feel like there's gonna be something in the top right. Woo! Wait, is the voice acting in the Klonoa remake, like, really bad? Yeah. Oh good, I don't have to get that again. Okay, you're making me curious. Yeah, send me a cutscene and then we can watch it together. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. Phew, I thought that was missable. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, whoops, you didn't send that yet. That was from Hollow. My bad. Here we go. Whoops. My controller get disconnected. Here it is. Come on, let's go. Uh oh. <laughs> no. Welcome. You fought well. I passed down tales of your journey. Which you want. Don't you think it's kind of strange? How sometimes when you wake up, you know you had a dream, but you can't remember it. Where do you... Uh, I think I've heard enough. I'm upset with this, and I've just barely started playing this game, and I have no attachment. Well, I have little attachment to this character. I'm like, no, he's supposed to be cute. He's like an anime teen protagonist now. He goes to high school and has secret powers. It's 
just one thing after the other. First my first controller disconnects, and now this one is low on battery. Plug it in. Here we go. Hey, maybe he should try his hand at Sonic. Oh. No. You know, Roger's Sonic has always been my least favorite Sonic. Um, maybe because he feels older, but that's intentional, right? And I think it's just the delivery, but I also think what it is, is that they just give him really bad lines. I think that's the biggest thing, honestly. Oh. Because, like, I hate listening to Roger's Sonic because what they give him, like, for his script is just, it's just so bad, you know? I feel, I feel like I would have a less negative opinion about Roger's Sonic if, if they actually gave him good stuff to read. Oh, the fish. Okay, there we go. I thought we needed an enemy for that. That's a small fish. <laughs> uh oh, are we gonna have like a um a speedboat level kind of thing? Yo. Yeah. That's kind of how I also feel, kind of like how I, I was saying. That's an adorable roar. I'm not intimidated at all. <laughs> yeah, take that. I like how he was talking all high and mighty. He's like, oh, I'm gonna put you in your place. Oh, you're like, stink and stuff. But then, in the end, he's kind of just a normal enemy. I, I like, approach him as any other normal enemy.
Oh no, now they're giving me tips because they think I'm not gamer enough. Oh, yeah, I love those. The Tails Tube shorts. It feels very natural, you know? It's just them talking. It's not them, you know, trying to give unfunny quips and, and stuff. And also, I feel like it's also, like, something that Tails would actually do, because he's a technology guy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was a great opportunity to actually dive into stuff like that, right? Got him! Oh, they were both under the evil mind control. <laughs> Get out of here. You know, I was going to play the Wii version of this game until the remake came out. Also, um, like you said, that gun is still around. Um, yeah, like, you'd think after their planet was about to be annihilated, gun would be a, a bigger threat, you know? A bigger force to be reckoned with, I suppose. You know what I really like, though, is, um... In Sonic 06, um, how Shadow is working for Gun. That feels like such a natural progression of his character to forgive, well, A, forgive the people who basically took everything from him, but also B, keep his promise to Maria in the best way possible by officially working with um, Gun, you know, an official organization of peacekeeping. Oh, we're going back to previous levels. Yep. 
Well, I guess it's not previous levels, is it? It's just like the same world. I like this guy. Blue version. Oh my god. You know what? The more I look at these guys, the more I want just plushies of them. Like plushies of, of Klonoa and also of these little guys. I still need to play forces to know if that's true or not, Carl. I feel like it it wouldn't be because they just kind of butcher his character left and right. Oh, that's not fair, Carl. Oh, there is um that one service called Bai. Where they just like you link stuff from Japan. And for you to buy it. Although I guess it's gonna be more expensive, so I have to judge it whether that's worth it or not. I'm glad I actually fell down here. I wouldn't have gotten the secret egg. Oh, I guess I only have three gems, but still. That's something towards 100% completion. Uh, I don't know if they are going to want to go through with that or not. I guess it depends on how these games sell. Hopefully they do sell well. That way... They have a reason to you know, another game. Just, just give it some time, another 15, maybe 20 years, and it'll be all good. That'll probably be sooner than a Banjo-Kazooie remake. I swear, um, if, if, um, if Rare, or not even Rare, if Microsoft, they put out a Benja kazooie remake, I would buy an Xbox One just for that, if they made it an exclusive. Ideally, they wouldn't. They would release it on PC as well. But... Yeah, if, if they did, I would definitely buy a Series X just for that. Oh, you're right! 
Yeah, I, I almost forgot about Cal the Kangaroo getting another game. Yeah, I watched a Nitro Rat video on it, and it actually looks pretty good. Wait, Ty got another game? Did he really? I thought it was just, um... The remakes coming to Steam. Or, not even remakes, they were just remasters. You know, Ty is actually a game I want to play too. Um, like all these 3D platformers, I'm like, oh man, I want to play them, but like I have some some memories of of Ty because my cousins had, I think it was Ty one on the GameCube, and I saw that I'm like, oh my god, that's like the coolest game ever. Um, but. The tie game that I really, like, really sunk my teeth into was the one on Game Boy Advance. I don't even remember what the name of it is, but, like, that game was, like, so good. I played that all the time. It was, like, part of my, um, my Game Boy Advance, like, main lineup, you know what I'm saying? I like the, the bit crushed audio was great because when you bit something like with your chomp attack it made it sound so beefy or so impactful Don't even joke, Carl. What company put like NFTs into their into their game? Um like their like classic IP. Was it Square? I think it was Square. How they were like like some kind of Final Fantasy game or something like that. Yeah. I remember, um, because it, it was like, um, they had to, like, retract it or something. Like, people got really mad that there was N NFTs in, like, a beloved classic franchise. I think NFTs are honestly dying out. People have realized that, like, they're poop and they're not a good investment, and they look really ugly. And people are kind of all over them. Which is good, I think. That way we can get less game companies trying to peddle NFTs in their games. And also less NFT cartoons, because that is like a crime against humanity. I can't get a game over on the first stream. Wait, come here, flying guy. No. Stop this. Cease. <laughs> I 
can go, huh? Hey, kids. Do you know about crypto? It's the hottest new trend in collecting. So if you want to be epic like me and my buddy Kazooie, you'll buy some NFTs. I feel like it's gonna be easier just to go over here and get this guy. Yo! Sacrifice them. The only logical course of action. That's just what I needed. What a twisted universe you've crafted, Carl. One where Gruntilda is secretly the good guy. Oh, I guess it's not even secret. When is Banjo going to cross over with Ace Attorney? They're going to take him to court and slap him with some like money laundering accusations. I get a lot of stuff in my recommended for like Undertale like fan games and stuff. But I don't watch them. No, I missed some. Yeah, sometimes it's good when stuff is like left up to interpretation. It makes the impact of the story more impactful.
You know, I kind of half expected myself to fall to the endless abyss and die. I felt like that would, that would be something they would do, just to troll you. Um, three dimension. Oh, oh no! <laughs> three dimensionality, I guess you could say, of of these levels where you can like throw stuff into the foreground and background. It, it makes the level feel bigger without actually having to expand it. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the reasons I don't really follow fan game like or like fan theories, right? It's like there's so little substance to them. Like, do you really want to be making these assumptions, right? It's like that's it's just ridiculous, you know. Oh, oh I need another one. Thank you. been doing anything else um, besides like following fan theories and also like playing the heck out of Ace Attorney Go. Oh no, I want those. Oh, they disappeared. I feel like, um, hmm. with the way this is running on my Switch, and how I can see, like, stuff popping in and out in the background, you know, I'm, I have a hunch, I have an inkling that perhaps this game isn't as optimized as it could be. Just a theory. This is Tingle. I have no idea what you're talking about, Carl. Oh, I, 
I'm on to you, Carl. I'm not gonna ask. Nope, nope. I just realized. You're trying to trick me again. Hey, you're gonna have to work for it this time. Nope. Mm-mm. No, nope, I'm just gonna ignore you and play funny, uh, funny cat bunny game. Nope. Look, see, I caught you in a lie. No, no, you can't. No, what a convenient miss, like, what a convenient typo. Hey, Meeps, how's it going? Oh, ouch. Yeah, this is great, man. Like I was, um, like I was telling Carl. Really, the only complaint I have is that it's, oh, it's a bomb. <laughs> well, not that. The only complaint I really have is that, um, this is like making my Switch run wild. Like, it's, it's making it like, chug pretty hard. Like, it's making the fans work pretty hard, is, is what I'm trying to say, basically. And also there's like, a little bit of stutter here and there. But apart... But apart from that, like, I'm having a blast. Klonoa's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love Klonoa. And also his little friend, his little, like, Kirby friend. And then, like, we're just running around, running and jumping around and collecting stuff. It's great. I would have loved this if I had a PS1 as a kid. I would, like, play this all day and, like, get 100% on every single level. Um, this is Klonoa 1 and 2. I actually have the Klonoa GBA game, um, on my Wii U. I'm, I think, I think that's one of the games I bought when the eShop was going to stop accepting, um, like, credit cards and stuff. Originally, I was gonna play the Wii version of this game, but Carl sent me like some some cutscenes from it, and I'm kind of glad I didn't. It has a different vibe. Like Klonoa was a teenager for some reason in the remake, which is like I don't know. Klonoa is so like cute. I love like cute Klonoa. Like it kind of feels weird how he's like older. It's like Kirby. Like, if... It's like Kirby, but if he was like... I don't know. Not baby Kirby. He was like... Getting ready to pay taxes or something.
Uh oh. Are we getting into spoiler territory? There we go. Got it. I thought you could hide that from me, huh? Yeah, I mean, it, it's like, um... It's like Carl said, I'll see it. Oh wait, this is back at the beginning, huh? Oh, this is clever. We're going around the tree. It's like Tick Tock Clock from Banjo Kazooie. I really like that. <laughs> you know, I only played Spyro a little bit, and I actually kind of got frustrated with it because I was too dumb to understand like the the hub world system. Now it's like a hub world, except there's like a hub world within a hub world, and like then I got lost. And then I never went back to it. How did they notice us from all the way over there? What a jerk. Wait a minute. 3D platformer guy. Oh! That is a clown. So, is Joker Spark the Electric Jester? Is this the official roar? Ooh, hey, check it out. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. I saw that message earlier to me, but I forgot to respond to it. Yay, Klonoa! Um, but yeah. This is gonna be the first section of Pikmin 2. Yes, Persona 5 Joker. It's also the same Joker. Crazy, huh? What a small world we live in. Even though we're talking about like different video game universes and stuff. Yeah, a lot of people say that Pikmin 2 is their favorite Pikmin. Because if if the Pac-Man on his head is like actual Pac-Man, that means that Pac-Man probably exists in this universe somewhere. Even if he doesn't exactly exist like at, in the same space as Klonoa, like he could be like a TV show or something, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's probably... It's probably like just a like little nod and it doesn't really mean anything.
I feel like there's something there that I missed. <laughs> hey, alright. I guess my obliviousness can come in handy sometimes, huh? Ouch. That was unnecessary. I did not need to do that. Oh, actually, never mind, I do. Get over there. Yoo-hoo! That just put a big ol' smile on my face. Introducing mechanics like that. Sorry about that. It was my phone. Uh oh, looks like we're gonna have to do a double jump. Or like a double double jump. Oh, almost. Maybe Pac-Man is like an omnip omnipotent, is that how you say it? Omnipotent? He's like a god. He's like the granddaddy of of this world. Oh no! I wanted to go back and get that thing. Okay, good. Oh. Yippoo! Theoretically, you can do that infinitely, which makes me kind of, like, uh, kind of worried if you're, like, any harder platforming challenges that are going to come my way, because I feel like it's going to be, like, ultra-precise. I didn't even see this door here earlier. I am going to get this first. I feel like if I get one wrong, it's going to kill me or something. This music is a little bit more ambient, you know, to fit in with the, like, jungle aesthetic. But I'm still enjoying it. I feel like I could get a good flow going with this, you know, like, like a mantra, you know. One, and two, one, and two, one, and two. Work, work, work. Oh no. Wait, did I not ask you how your day was, Meeps? This is a crime.
Whoa, that was close. There's an interesting exploration aspect to this, since you're not just going um, from the left of the level to the right of the level. There's more to it than just that. Please give me that. Phew. Yeah. Only one more Klonoa. Oh, I really hope I don't fall here because that's going to be an instant death. What kind of crazy luck did you get, though, Meeps? Like some, like, Pokemon shiny hunting luck? Like, 1 in 8,000? chat. Susie from Delta Rune. Just like the hair over the eyes and like the round face. Joker's not such a bad guy. He is, like, actively trying to help us. 
It's like, hey, watch out, there's gonna be stuff falling. I see how it's gonna be. Oh, wait, never mind. He was talking to his minion, telling him to watch out for falling objects. Never mind. I retract my previous statement. Joker probably cheats at cards. And he also hates kittens, probably. Hopefully it'll get better. Chill out. Relax. Watch the stream. And drink some tea, just like I did. I'm pretty comfy. I came home, put on my pajamas, and drank a cup of chamomile tea, and now I'm playing good games. I love all these little sprites that they add to the world maps, like little storybook thing. This is so cute. But anyway, we're going to have to continue this next time. I'm having a blast with this game so far. Like, some of that probably has to do with my, um, 
with like my huge bias towards platformers. I just love running around and jumping and collecting stuff. But this game also presents like some really cool concepts that probably would be like even more impactful back in PS1. You have like a side scrolling um platformer that you can use the like foreground and background and also like do like double jumps in midair with enemies and stuff. It's like really cool stuff. But yeah, I'm having a great time with this game so far and I can't wait to continue playing it next Saturday. But thanks for watching Ponoa guys. I'll be back after a BRB with some Pikmin 2. So, don't go anywhere.